Hello friends, Pulkit this side from Gadget Generations and today I'm going to bring you a review video for a flagship earphone uh, from a premium boutique brand based out of Singapore. So today I'm going to talk about the Symphonium Crimson. It is right here in my hands and it is a beautiful pair and I have spent about two to three weeks with this set and it sounds astonishingly beautiful, as beautiful as it looks and uh, it is just an amazing set which we will be finding out in today's video so today's video the product has been sent to me by the audio store which is a retailer in india and they sell the crimson for about one lakh fifty five thousand with the eight wire cable and uh, that is very much close to the international price of the pair which is like 1700 us dollars so if you guys want you guys can go and check it out on their website i will be adding the link in the description section below the unit goes back to them after my review so you know there is no affiliation and nothing else i just requ requested them to you know uh, that i want to listen to the crimson i have been hearing very good thoughts about this one so if you guys can arrange me an audition so they just uh, uh, accepted my request and sent the pair for a few weeks yeah so uh, basically starting with the design and driver configuration the as for the driver configuration the symphonium crimson houses four b drivers on each side arranged in a four way crossover yes each driver has been tuned as per their required frequency and symphonium has been doing a great job i have previously owned their uh, budget option the symphonium meteor which i absolutely loved but i had to sell to you know fund other purchases then i also heard the symphonium helios courtesy of a friend and then the symphonium crimson courtesy of the audio store so the crimson uh, i have loved all three of them uh, although the helios was a very much detailed set but i didn't like it personally in terms of tonality but everything else about the meteor about the helios and about the uh, crimson i have loved uh, so far from symphonium uh, so <clears throat> the design and build quality for the pair at the beginning part the basically the pair is absolutely beautiful it looks just like the meteor but uh, a bit bigger and the shell has you know this carbon like pattern and it looks premium there are only uh, the uh, most of the earphones that are currently coming into the market uh, especially in the premium segment have got astonishingly beautiful looks and so same thing i can say for the symphonium crimson over here in my hands it looks absolutely beautiful uh, <coughs> it fits me like a charm uh, i have been using it for the past three weeks and uh, uh, as my daily driver basically i've been using this on a daily basis you know so once i wear it there is no issues for me in terms of fit and in fact the stock ear tips that i got with the set fits me really nicely well this cable is not the stock cable this is a premium upo cc plus cable by ear audio as the cable that i got with the crimson had a bit of an issue and it was also 3.5 mm terminated cable and i wanted to use it with a 4.4 mm plug so i just uh, you know gave it this cable so you know how does the what are the first of all what are the basic power requirements for the set so basically if you go on to the website of symphonium and you see about the technical details for the crimson you will notice that it has a very low impedance of just six ohms around six ohms which is around one k h z one kilohertz uh, frequency range but you know uh, and the sensitivity is like 106 decibels but i would say that crimson needs a lot of power yeah it needs a lot of juice like i have been using it with my uh, ibeso dx260 for quite a while but uh, you know i always felt like there was something missing so you know i just added the cm18 portable as an amplifier just gave a line in from my dx260 and used it and also used it as a dedicated deck amp as well via usb connected to my laptop or my phone so you know the two volts output power for the from the cm18 portable at high gain mode was able to drive the crimson to really nicely in fact the dx260 is also getting it louder but you know loud enough but you know i didn't feel that it was being driven properly as i was it was missing the slam in the lower end which i knew that the crimson is capable of delivering so i just uh, gave it the cm18 portable and it was all sorted and everything came together 
so in my opinion you need to give her a very good source very powerful source if we, a few friends of mine have been using it with the desktop sources so you know give it the best that you have the most powerful source that you have and i'm pretty sure that you will be treated with uh, you will be rewarded with uh, amazing sound performance from the crimson now talking about the sound quality part sound quality part the the crimson when it's being driven properly like i mentioned earlier it delivers an impressive sound you just won't notice that it's just 4 ba producing such level of sound clarity and sound details i would say it just uh, a very good friend of mine once told me that pulkit crimson sounds like a near field speaker setup and it does it does sound like that it has a very slamming and very controlled bass response the sub bass reach is exceptionally solid the mid bass has a you know really cool and slamming presentation mid range is a bit recessed in my opinion but maintains very good clarity for vocals and instruments and treble has a slightly relaxed presentation i won't call it very energetic or too into the face but you know maintains and showcases good details in the treble region as well overall tonally i would say that the crimson has a very you know has a slightly warmer tone it's not very much warm it just has a when you know slightly warmer slightly uh, warmer than neutral i would say in terms of tonality uh, another key point that i personally loved about the crimson would be the staging the stage feels massively big it just surrounds the listeners with its immersive presentation and it just you know presents you with excellent imaging and layering capabilities you can pinpoint precisely each and every single instrument being played uh, even on busy tracks like billy jean by michael jackson so you know it has excellent imaging it has massive big staging it has immersive staging in fact okay and the bass response is really solid it just you know presents you with a very uh, enjoyable sound signature which is you know uh, very commendable in my opinion all in all very good resolution and clarity as well so it just feels like there is a dd somewhere hidden between these ba drivers on to the crimson it just sounds that level of good <laughs> now on to some comparison part uh, i would be comparing it with something uh, that is uh, an all ba setup but is you know priced uh, at the same level like 1700 us dollars only it, it is also from a boutique brand i am talking about the flipiers artha that i recently acquired from a friend by exchange exchanging some of my gear so artha has an 8 ba setup and uh, it has bigger shells so you know you are going to get a bit of uh, issues in terms of fit the th- shell are thicker and the nozzle is even more thicker so you know my friend actually exchanged them because of the fit issue only but i had tried those earlier so i had no fit issues so you know it just worked for me perfectly so talking about the crimson and uh, the artha basically so crimson has a you know slightly warm and bass focused sound signature which maintains good clarity for the other sections as well while artha has a very balanced sound signature in my opinion it is slightly you know mid centric sound signature i would say on the artha uh, mids are a bit focused and so is the treble region but it doesn't sound harsh at all so for bass lovers i would say crimson would be you know presenting with a better sound and uh, more captivating sound signature while artha would uh, deliver a better sound for vocal lovers and um, uh, uh, and i would say for detail lovers also i would like to say that artha sounds a bit thinner than uh, in comparison to the crimson maybe because the crimson has better bass slam and you know better bass body that adds a more body to the overall output well that's about the symphonium crimson from my side i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video review and i would like to thank the audio store for sending this this unit to me for the purpose of this review uh, i just forgot to mention that uh, there is the only con that i found on the crimson in my opinion would be the power requirements it is a hungry set you need to feed her well to you know get the best quality uh, sound uh, while using it with my dx260 i was uh, getting loud enough the, i was getting clearer clear and clean sound there was no uh, issues as such but while adding the cm18 portable i got to know the bass texture that the uh, crimson is capable of delivering well just feed her well and you will be rewarded <laughs> 
well that's about the symphonium crimson from my side i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video please stay tuned with my channel and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will be soon coming up with more high fee audio content related to you know uh, audio field gear and also i am planning to visit the can jam singapore this year which is uh, next week only <laughs> so i will try to just you know put up this video together and upload it so you know if you guys any of you guys are visiting singapore for the can jam don't forget to meet me and we can have a little chit chat as well thank you so much thanks for staying with me thank you